And this is how it works, arriving in the Maldives and finding a resort. Here we are just walking out of customs, out into the open air area. There's fans, but no air conditioning. And first we see a line of representatives from local hotels and some tour companies in some of the islands. Then, if we don't see a rep for our place here, we carry on walking, and before we've even gotten on the plane, we will be told to go to a particular counter here in the airport uh, for further instructions for getting on either our seaplane or speedboat. So here we are walking over, and here we see some of the counters, uh, numbers 5 through 8 and 22 through 26. It's quite easy to find your representative. They only have people here for when they have arrivals due. You know, it's not like uh, you can just show up here and come to one of the resorts. You, everybody is reserved, so you find your representative and ask them where to go. If you're staying at a certain group of resorts here, like uh, here's Medufushi or Filateo uh, or Zitale Resorts and Spa, you come, instead of the counter, you just come to this air-conditioned lounge area where you'll be given water, a uh, chance to relax, and then the rep will check you in there. Here's another of the lounges, and these lucky people are just about to go to their resort. Here is a bank and a couple of ATMs. Most people who uh, come to the Maldives will land and check in with the representative and have to wait between maybe 10 minutes and one hour because they group people together all on the same flight, going to the same place. And uh, once you uh, have checked in and you're waiting to go on your seaplane or speedboat, they w you might be uh, asked to wait over here for a little while. So if your resort is close enough and you are taking a speedboat, I'll show you how easy that is. Here we are again at the counters with the resort reps. And now we're just going to walk out here a few steps. What they'll do is they'll, like I said, get everybody into a group. You know, maybe there's going to be two or three or 10 or 15, depending on how many people, people uh, came in your group, going on the same speedboat to the same resort. So we walk over here just a few steps and we already see this gorgeous Maldivian turquoise water right here in the little ferry area. And we would walk over and there is one of the speedboats that is going to one of the resorts. So, I mean, it's literally, uh, you know, 30 seconds or so and you're on your speedboat. Here are a couple of other speedboats just around the corner from where we were before. So if you're staying at Adaran or Kurumba, this is where you would be led. Now we're back again in the area where the resort reps are, and if you are going instead on a seaplane, here's how it works. You go to your uh, rep, to the counter number that uh, they've, you've been instructed in, the, uh, in your uh, booking package, and they will walk you over here to the uh, counter of one, there are two seaplane companies. One is much older and more established than the other. That's the one we're going to. There's another one, only a few resorts are using them right now. There's a little uh, souvenir shop, by the way. And here we are walking over to the counter of Trans Maldivian Airways. And what they do, the representative will just send you over here or walk you over here, tell you to stand in one of these lines and then you, when you get up to the counter, they already know you're coming because everybody here is uh, pre-registered and they know exactly who is going on which flight. So you get up to the front, they uh, tell you which, or they check you in, and then they put you on one of those shuttle buses just behind the counter, as you can hopefully see right back there. And then you will take the 10 minute drive or so to the other side of the airport where the seaplane uh, dock. And here we are at the other seaplane counter, Maldivian seaplane. Yeah, they're not too busy right now. Again, I think they only have four or five resorts that they work with. Uh, but aside from that, the service is the same and you don't get a choice 
as to which one you go on, depending on which resort you are, they have already decided which sea plan you'll be going on. So, uh, and also you do have to collect your bags yourself and go through customs. There's uh, some interesting security uh, things to know here. You cannot bring alcohol at all into the Maldives. If you do, they will theoretically confiscate it before you uh, leave the airport and supposedly give it back to you. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But uh, anyway, and pork is another thing you don't want to bring. Not that a lot of people are bringing pork on their flights. But yeah, anyway, so here we are. And you go on this seaplane. They put you on one of their shuttles and then off to the seaplane depot on the other side of the airport. It's about a 10 minute drive. And this is one of the two seaplane ports. I can't go inside on this trip because you can only go inside if you have a ticket. But if you get on one of those shuttle vans, you'll be brought over here on the other side of the island and put on one of these seat planes. And next thing you know, you'll be on your way to your private island.